There's nothing like talking to yourself without the camera on. <laughs> we are back to working in the Four Faces journal. Um, we have a playlist for creating these faces in this journal. It started out as a quick and easy way to demo a new product I have in my Etsy store, which is intended to help you create quick and easy faces. It's just a basic face. There's no hair or anything. It just has basic features. Um, just to get you started if you're unsure about putting faces um, in your journals, this is Four Faces One, full on, straight on face uh, in different shapes. And you can leave it as it is, or you can cut it apart, which I did here with this one. We do have a brand new one, which now I have to untape because, yeah, the camera wasn't on. This is Four Faces Two, and this is um, Profile and Three Quarter Face. Uh, based on my face and my husband's face. There we go. So this is Four Faces 2. We're going to use this one today. I'm going to, I mostly have been drawing with the stencils. You of course can do the traditional paint with the stencils. Of course you can. Um, but I wanted to show you how else you can use your stencils, especially this one. It's meant to be sort of a drawing slash painting guide. Um, so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to watercolor with it. Um, you could put it down here and then trace it with a pencil or a water soluble pencil or a crayon. Um, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. The first thing I'm going to do is you're going to need some of this pixie spray which is a light tack repositionable adhesive intended for stencils. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. I'm going to spray the back of this corner of the stencil and I'm going to leave it sit for just a second. Um, first we're going to do a wash. Let's get a large flat brush and let's do a wash on the paper of, um, let's do coral. I almost never use this coral color. It's such a pretty color, which is why I have it. So we're going to put some of that on there and then we're going to put some water. Now this is 70 pound drawing paper. It is not watercolor paper. So you don't want to scrub too much because it's going to do weird things to your paper. Okay, we're going to let that dry and I'll be right back. As it's 70 pound pound drawing paper, it's going to do this when you watercolor with it, right? Some of the best watercolor paper on the planet will do that too. Doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, use different paper. This is just practice, right? So now we're gonna spray the back of our stencil over the garbage can. Let it dry for a minute. And while it's drying, we're gonna figure out what color we're gonna use next, which might be, I don't know. I might do a very contrasty color. Okay. I'm going to put this on here. And it should stick fairly well. This would probably work with acrylic paint too, just FYI. Okay, so color, color, color while well, that sits there. Um, I think I'm gonna follow my instincts and go with this dark sort of navy blue. And just because I use the adhesive doesn't mean that I really want to have my brush be dripping, sopping wet. So I'm gonna make sure that there's not a lot of excess water on the brush. Okay, then I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to blot the excess. And then I'm going to lift carefully. Look at that. Can you see that? Let's zoom in. See? All right, it just gives you an outline, right? That's all we wanted. So then I'm going to take a smaller round brush, let's see. And 
and some other colors of paint, watercolor paint. I have this tealy color here that's below the dark blue. If that part of the face is in shadow, this right here would be in light. The warm color will suggest light. The dark color will suggest shadow. Um, let's see. Let's try purple. If you lose track of the light and the warmth, don't feel bad about having to go back in with a white pencil or um, maybe even something that's more this coral color. I'm barely Barely, barely touching the uh, paper, just FYI. alternating between bringing in some more color and then cleaning the brush off and grabbing just water to spread the color around. I'm gonna dry that, I'll be right back. Okay, you can still go in with a white gel pen and a black ballpoint pen should you desire to do so. Because remember, what did I just say about us being mixed media artists, right? And the stencil is supposed to be a guide, it's not supposed to be something that's set in stone. So wherever you think there should be a highlight that it's too dark, add some white gel pen. And you're gonna come up with something like that. I like that, I'm gonna stop now. There you go. So four faces uh, stencils. There's two of them now um, and um, I may at some point, if the demand is there, make them full size instead of just these small ones. I may make the faces full size. There are some other face stencils in my Etsy shop. Um, there, in fact, there's another basic face stencil. Um, so take a look around. The link for the Etsy shop is in the description below. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do um, with 
the stencils and or with the supplies that you have on hand, different ways that you can use the things that you already own because that's one of the points of this. Let me zoom out. Okay, because that's one of the points of this is to do some different, th show me, to have me show you some different things that you can do with the stuff that you already own, to have fun with your art, to practice in a little journal. And nobody has to see it. This is just a little small little journal, little notebook that I made in the beginning and you know, it's pretty cute. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out that video description for the links that I've mentioned along with other places that you can support the free content here on uh, YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, including Patreon, YouTube membership, um, of course, the Etsy store, which I mentioned, and also my PayPal tip jar. There's a lot of different ways. My happy mail address is down there and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. And above all, go out and have a great day. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.